Brokji Hawa Brakatha Yehosha Brokji Hawa Brakatha Yehosha Bahashan Rakakwadash Double honors to the apostles, the elders. Salutations to you, sincere brothers, teaching and truth and sincerity. A lesson will be entitled There is no such thing as falling angels in the sense that words as a fire Fort Worth is using this okay this video was inspired by a video composed by words as a fire Fort Worth and their video is entitled rebel against the Lord and hearkens to fallen angels understand something Yahweh and Yahweh Shah controls everything, right? Point blank, period. A title that the Heavenly Father has is the Most High, okay? And the reason why he is classified or deemed as the Most High is because he controls both Size, meaning the right starting with Yahweh Shai and the left starting with Satan. And directly under Yahweh is his son Yahweh Shai. Point blank, period. Now, let's go to Matthew 28. In verse 18, and this is after Yahweh had been crucified. He reported back on earth for 40 days, right? So, Matthew 28 and 18, and Yahweh came and spoke unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Let's go to... Hebrews 2 and 7, you made him a little lower than the angels, right? You made him, you referring to Yahweh, made him referring to Yahweh Shah a little lower than the angels, meaning Yahweh Shah came on earth in the flesh to conquer life without sin. You crowned him with glory and honor and did set him over the works of your hands. And that's everything except for Yahweh himself. You have put all things in subjection under his feet, including Satan and the love-handed angels. For in that he put all in subjection under him, he loved nothing that is not put under him. But now we see not yet all things put under him, right? So again, directly under Yahweh, you have Yahweh Shah. Now, this is going into a vision Micah ah had, 1 Kings 22 and verse 19. And he said, Micah ah, hear you therefore the word of Yahweh. I saw Yahweh sitting on his throne and all the hosts of heaven standing by him on his right hand. And on his left, referring to the angels, angels on his right and angels on his left. And they all reported before the throne of Yahweh. Again, Yahweh has a title, deeming himself 
ask the Most High, how in the fuck can he be classified as the Most High if he's battling Satan and other love-handed angels? It doesn't make sense. Let's go to Job. Chapter 1 and verse 6. Now there was a day when the sons of the Most High came to present themselves before the Lord Yahweh. So where is this setting? Let's go to Psalm, the 11th chapter, and verse 4. The Lord Yahweh is in his holy temple. The Lord Yahweh's throne is in heaven. His eyes behold, his eyelids try the children of men, the sons of men. Now, key point, Yahweh's throne is in heaven. And heaven is also classified as the fourth dimension or the third heaven or also the spiritual realm, right? So back into Job chapter 1 verse 6. Now there was a day when the sons of the Most High came to present themselves before the Lord, the Lord Yahweh. The setting is in the spiritual realm. Hence, 1 Kings 22 and 19. And he said, Hear you therefore the word of Yahweh. I saw Yahweh sitting on his throne and all the hosts of heaven standing by him on his right hand and on his left. Going back into Job 1 and 6. Now there was a day when the sons of the Most High referring to the angels, came to present themselves before the Lord Yahweh. So they came to present themselves before Yahweh. And that's the reason why Yahweh is classified or has a title as the Most High. So on this particular day, right, you had angels on the right and you had angels on the left. Precept upon precept upon precept. Before the Lord Yahweh and Satan came also among them. Why? Because Satan is a son of the Most High. Remember, the Most High is also classified as who? Hebrews 12 and 9. Furthermore, we have had fathers of our flesh, which corrected us, and we gave them reverence, meaning honor. Shall we not much rather be in subjection, meaning what under rule, this is what subjection means, unto the father of spirits and live. The father of spirits. Identifying who? Yahweh, which is another title for Yahweh, right? Going back into Job 1 and 7. And Yahweh said unto Satan, Where come you? Then Satan answered Yahweh and said, From going to and fro in the earth and from walking up and down in it. So as you can see, Satan is in subjection. To Yahweh as well as Yahweh Shah. Again, there's no scripture informing us that Satan, along with other love handed angels, were casted out. That's bullshit. All right? Isaiah 14 and 12. How are you fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How are you cut down to the ground which did weaken the nations? Lucifer means what? Light barrier, right? 
So at this time frame, the Luciferians on the love hand, okay, that are on earth are who? The nobility of Edom, the ones that control this entire system. And the Luciferians on the right hand are who? The prophets. See, the wicked has light from Satan, which makes them Luciferians. And the righteous, deeming the prophets, have what? Light from Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, this truth, which makes them also Luciferians but in righteousness, okay? So again, how are you falling from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? This is referring to who? The wicked, right? Going into their rulership, their time to rule. Hence, um, Job 9 and 24. Also, um, Romans 13 and 1, okay? For you have said in your heart, because he's proud, the nobility of Edom, as well as their lesser counterparts, right, who are Edomites based on the lineage of their fathers, man, woman, and child, these are proud people. I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of the Most High. I will sit also on the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north, referring to our land. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the Most High. See, this is the mindset of Esau Edom. Yet you shall be brought down to hell to the size of the pit, meaning what? That your kingdom, your dominion will be destroyed by Yahweh Shai. They that see you shall narrowly look on you and consider you saying, Is this the man that made the earth to tremble, that did shake kingdoms? Now remember, Esau received a time frame to rule through who? Isaac, right? This is symbolic talk going into how Esau would rule. However, the Most High will take him down by his right hand, referring to Yahweh Shai. Okay? Let's go to, and you can't get around this. Because even when you apply, again, Isaiah 14 and 12, how are you falling from heaven, meaning out of your rulership? And when you jump down to verse 16, to the point, is this the man that made the earth to tremble? And how does Esau make the world tremble? Via his military, which enforces what? His protocol. And he controls the fucking money as well as the resources going back into his dominion. Okay. Luke 10 and 18. And he said unto them, I beheld Satan as lightning falling from heaven. So what is Yahweh prophesying about? Satan's physical counterpart on earth, talking about the rulership of the Edomites. And Yahweh is referring to how fast Esau's kingdom will be destroyed, right? I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. So we must get what? Revelation 18 and 8. Therefore shall her plagues, meaning judgment, come in one day. I beheld Satan as lightning falling. A quick destruction. Therefore shall her place come in one day, death and mourning and famine, and she shall be utterly burned with fire. For strong is the Lord power who judges her. Right? Verse 10. Well, let me read 9. And the kings of the earth who have committed fornication 
and live deliciously with her shall bewail her and lament for her when they shall see the smoke of her burning verse 10 standing afar off for the fear of her torment saying alas alas that great city babylon referring to america that mighty city referring to america for in one hour is your judgment come this is the reason why yahweh right stated in luke chapter 18 and verse 19 and yahweh said unto him so like you no, I'm tripping. It's Luke chapter 10, verse, verse 18, Salakia. And this is the reason why Yahweh Shah said, And he said unto them, I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. So Esau falling from his rulership. Now remember, Satan means what? An adversary, an op, the opposition, right? So Yahweh Shah was just saying how fast this man would be destroyed within an hour. Okay? So, in the sense of fallen angels, as they were using this term, right? There's no such thing. Because when you utilize Job, one and six. Now there was a day when the sons of the Most High came to present themselves before the Lord Yahweh, and Satan came also among them. And the Lord Yahweh said unto Satan, When, where, yes, like it, where come you? Then Satan answered the Lord Yahweh and said, From going to and fro in the earth and from walking up and down in it, that's all they do. So the angels are in and out of heaven leaving heaven, coming to the earthly realm, and following, following the instructions of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. Satan was never cast out of heaven. When you say shit like this, basically, you cannot classify the Most High as the Almighty or the um, Most High. You cannot classify Yahweh as the Almighty or the Most High when you're saying he's going back and forth, back and forth with Satan. All right. Let's go to Genesis. And just to support Joel 1, 6 and 7, let's go to Genesis chapter Twenty-eight and verse twelve. Let's start at ten. And Jacob went out from Beersheba and went toward Haran, and he lighted on a certain place and tarried there all night, because the sun was set. And he took of the stones of that place and put them for his pillows and lay down in that place to sleep. And he dreamed, meaning he was in a trance. Or he had a vision, right? And behold, a ladder set up on the earth, and the top of it reached to heaven. And behold, the angels of the Most High ascending and descending on it. Meaning what? The angels of the Most High ascending and ascending on this ladder. On this ladder. And best believe these angels were angels on the right and angels on the left. And that's the reason why Satan said in his reply to Yahweh, he said that then answered Satan in Job 1 and 7. Then Satan answered the Lord Yahweh and said from going to and fro in the earth and from walking up and down in it. Right? Supporting what? Genesis 28 and 13. Salakia. Genesis 28 and 12. And he dreamed and behold a ladder set up on the earth and the top of it reached the heaven and behold the angels of the Most High ascending and ascending on it. And Jacob received this vision via the Holy Spirit. Right? Let's go to Psalm 
103 and verse. Let's start in 19. The Lord Yahweh has prepared his throne in the heavens, and his kingdom rules over all. Bless Yahweh, you his angels that excel in strength, that do his commandments, listening unto the voice of his word. Bless you, the Lord Yahweh, all you his hosts. And who are the hosts of the Most High? Angels on the right, angels on the left. You ministers of his that do his pleasure, including Satan and the angels under Satan. Right? And that's period. Proverbs 11 and 1. A false balance is abomination to Yahweh, but a just weight is his delight. Again, this supports what? That the Most High controls both sides. Angels on the right, angels on the left. And for you to say that Satan was cast out of heaven and the Most High is having an ongoing war with Satan, then therefore how can you classify the Most High as the Most High or as the Almighty? It doesn't make sense. Ecclesiasticus 33 and verse 14. Good is set against evil, hence Proverbs 11 and 1, and life against death, hence Proverbs 11 and 1. So is the godly against the sinner, hence Proverbs 11 and 1, and the sinner against the godly, hence Proverbs 11 and 1. So look on all the works of the Most High, including the angels, angels on the right, angels on the left. And there are two and two, one against another. Point blank, period. Right? So the Most High controls the right, the Most High controls the left. And underneath Yahweh, you have Yahweh Shai in second. That is second in command. Okay? Now, when you read Genesis, the sixth chapter, right? This is referring to Israelites that started procreating with women of these other nations, right? And eventually, we stopped following Yahweh, okay? We are the fallen ones, okay? Israelites, Men, women, and children that are on earth are the true fallen ones. We have fell from our grip. We have fell from our um, way of following Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. That's why the scripture also states that we are in chains of darkness going into these bodies. Okay, so again, Israelite men, women, and children are the fallen ones. However, you have the elect that will veil the spirit, follow Yahweh Shah wherever he goes. Okay? I think that's about it. You know what? Let's get Isaiah 45 and 7. I form the light, Yahweh, and create darkness, Yahweh. So I form the light, starting with Yahweh Shah, and create darkness. And we can associate this with Satan. I make peace and create evil. I, Yahweh, do all these things. Ecclesiastes 33 and 15. So look on all the works of the Most High, and there are two and two. Right-handed angels against the left-handed angels, one against another, okay? So, Lord, will you edify Shalom?